Trump has signed a short-term measure to reopen the government. Both the House and Senate passed the bill today. It comes three days after a dispute over immigration led to a shutdown. Weijia Jiang has the very latest. President Trump signed a short-term measure to reopen the government, ending a three-day shutdown. Now the Trump shutdown will end, but Republicans' wasteful incompetence continues. This is not a moment to pat ourselves on the back, not even close. The bill, which includes a six-year extension of the Children's Health Insurance Program, funds the government only through February 8th. The yeas are 81, the nays are 18. Senate Democrats reluctantly agreed to the stopgap measure after Majority Leader Mitch McConnell promised to put a bill addressing young immigrants brought here illegally as children up for debate. Now those talks can get going again. Whether they bear fruit is up to all of us. Lawmakers on both sides continue to point fingers at each other over the shutdown and at President Trump, criticizing him for being absent from nearly 60 hours of tense negotiations. The great deal-making president sat on the sidelines. But the president resumed talks on Immigration Monday, meeting separately with six Republicans and two Democrats at the White House. He wants our children, the, the, the DACA children, to have certainty in a pathway forward, and he's counting on the Senate and the House to do their job. Four congressional leaders will now have 17 days to craft a plan providing legal status for nearly 700,000 immigrants. We've been in a meeting every single day. We're working towards it. We're making progress. The federal government fully reopens Tuesday morning. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Congress also authorized back pay for federal employees who were furloughed during the shutdown.